everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra 2 Common Core Regents. So we're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 28. The parabola y equals negative 1 over 20 times x minus 3 squared plus 6 has a focus at 3, 1. Determine the state of the equation of the directrix. The use of the grid below is optional. So there's I'm going to show you two different ways to solve this. I'll show you the formula, the algebraic way, and then I'll show you the graphic way, which I think is faster and easier to see. So let's first use um, what they give us. Look at that. So we have our equation here. They give that to us. And then we have the focus at 3, 1. So if we remember the equation for a parabola when we're working with foci and directrices. Um, so it, it looks something like this. So it's kind of messy looking, but it's y equals 1 over 2 b minus k times x minus a squared plus 1 half b plus k. And so the direct, where the directrix equals k, which we don't know, this is what we're trying to find, and the focus is a, b. So based on that, we can actually figure out what k is, because if we just take a little section right here, we can see that it lines up with the equation they gave us. So if we, get, if we look at 1 over 2 times b, which we know is 1 because they gave us the focus, minus k, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to negative 1 over 20, we'll be able to find it. So we could cross multiply and we get 20 is equal to negative 2 plus k. Negative 2 plus 2k. So now just do a little algebra. So we'll bring this over and we get 22 equals 2k. Divide 2 on both sides and we get k equals 11. So that's one way of getting it. Um, involves a little algebraic ma manipulation. So another way to get it is also by graphing. So to do that, we're going to use the focus again, which they give us. Focus at 3, 1. And then we're also going to take out the vertex. So because they gave us this equation, we can see that the vertex is at 3, 6. And we could draw this out. So we're going to just draw a little axes. This is our y, this is our x. Okay, so the first thing we want to draw is the vertex. 3, 6. So let's just label this 3, 6, and we know this is the vertex, so we know this is this value is on our parabola. And then now the focus is 3, 1. So here's 3, 1. Let's label it 3, 1. It's the focus. So we know that the vertex the distance between the vertex and the focus is going to be equidistant, equidistant between the vertex and the directrix which is what we're trying to find. So if we just count up the number of units going from the focus to the vertex, then we can do the same thing on the other side and find the value of the, the directrix. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So this has five units. So that means we wanna do that on the other side. So let's just use a different color. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We got another five units here, and you can see that it lines up with y equals 11, which is the directrix, which is the same thing we got algebraically over here. So we have directrix, y equals 11, or k equals 11, because it's also denoted as k. And that's our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below.
Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.